Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm gonna tie for you a basic shad fly. So just a couple ingredients in this one. It's got a tail made out of polar flash, a thread body wrapped with some clear vinyl stretch and dumbbell eyes. This is for shad, but of course, whatever else is in the water at the time, white perch, American shad, hickory shad, gizzard shad, largemouth, smallmouth, striped bass, and channel catfish, maybe snakeheads, carp, whatever else. We'll also eat this. Shad are not eating, they're not feeding the rivers, they are fighting out of aggression. So you want your flies to be a little bright, a little flashy. You don't want them too big. Shad have small, soft mouths, and they're usually gonna strike short. So you wanna have a short tail on your flies. The hook we're gonna be using today is a saber hook from Fly Shack. They are 100 hooks for about $7. I'm using size six. And of course, I'm always gonna be using my Regal Vice because once you put your hook in there, it does not move. For the eyes, I'm gonna be using large dumbbells. These I picked up from the True Value Hardware Store. And then I go ahead and I cut them into individual sections. The tail is just gonna be Polar Flash. And what I do is I cut the plastic bag so I know exactly the amount sticking out is the exact length I need. Kind of makes my tying more efficient. And then the body is going to be Stretch Magic 1.5 millimeter. This is from AC Moore, Joanne Fabrics, or Michael's Craft Store. It's an alternative to using vinyl rib from your fly shop. And this is about 249 for four meters or 13 feet. And if you've got a smartphone, you can always pull up your coupon for the craft stores and get about 40% off. So what I'm gonna do is start off with my thread. I'm using Orvis uh, fluorescent pink thread. Shads seem to have a pension for pink flies. Pink and gold are sort of the, the go-to standards. I'm gonna wrap down the bead chain, just a couple quick wraps. Let that hang. I'm gonna take my polar flash, and I already had that about three quarters to one inch amount predetermined on the package. So I've cut that off. And I'm going to just wrap that down. And notice I'm slowly moving my fingers to the left. And as I'm doing that, that ensures that the entire body is covered. Whatever you wrap, be it the color of the thread or the body material, that is what your fly is gonna look like once the vinyl rib or clear stretch material shines through. So I've got this piece of the clear stretch material. You can see how it stretches. This is for some kind of jewelry. I'm going to sort of just angle the tip there. It sort of looks like a hypodermic needle, if you can see that. That just helps me lay this down and I'm gonna apply pressure. You want it to apply pressure to make this stuff lay down flat. Otherwise, it's not gonna wrap evenly throughout the fly. Wrap your thread up to the top. Let your bobbin just hang there. And now start just wrapping that clear vinyl. You can put the, make them right next to each other. You can space them out, whatever. Now, I previously would just leave the fly with just a thread body, but this sort of illuminates the fly a little more. It makes it have a little bit larger of a body. And that all just, in my theories, helps catch the shad because remember they're striking out of aggression, things that are flashy. I'm gonna pull the vinyl back over the dumbbell eyes, take the thread, a couple of just tight wraps, cut that right there, wrap to the front. I'm gonna take my index finger, holding the bobbin steady with my left hand, and half hitch. I'm not using lead eyes or plated eyes like these from Spirit River because these flies are gonna get destroyed on the rocks. We're gonna lose, you know, maybe a dozen per day, if not more. So I'm not using very expensive materials. These are not gamakatsu hooks. I'm not really putting too much time and effort into them because you're not matching the hatch. You just want a basic fly pattern for the shad. Trim that tail down so it's nice and short, and there you have it. That is uh, a basic, Shad pattern.